Hey guys, it's Chris Bay from Cheat the Game coming back at you. I'm sorry it's been a little while, but I'm going to uh, try to get uh, things back up and running and get more vids out to you on a more timely manner. I had a job that I had to work 12 to 14 hours at uh, every night and barely got one day off a week that just ate up all my time, so I'm sorry about the delay. But uh, I'm now getting back in the swing of things because I'm currently looking for a new job, a better job, so I can have more time to do these things. So uh, I do apologize to all of you. I appreciate you sticking with me, and I promise you I'm going to do my best to make it up to you. And while we're discussing, I want to uh, remind you about GuidedHacking.com. We've been associated with uh, Guided Hacking ever since we've been started. And uh, this is the best place to come to for all your game hacking questions. I don't care if you are a, uh, a very new beginner or a seasoned pro. There's something there for everybody. And yes, you can also find me there as well as well as other game hacking teachers some of the best game hackers in the world hang out here and just about every question you could possibly think of has already been asked and answered on here and uh, their advanced search technology right here you can have the answers you seek in just a few little clicks and within a few seconds so come on over to guidedhacking.com sign up is absolutely free we'd love to see you over there and make sure that you tell them chris fate from cheat the game said hello Alright, first of all, I'm not going to be going over Cheat Engine on this particular vid, however, I will in an upcoming vid. But today, I'm going to show you to modify save files. You can still get similar to the results you want. Now, I do have cheats for Road 96, and this is the game that we're going to be concentrating on today. I really love this game. I thought it was well done. I love the story. And, uh, like I say, you know me, if, if there's a way to hack it, I'm going to find it. But, uh... Let me see here. I'm going to load up my cheat table right quick for you. Here it is. And I got health codes. Uh, once you turn that on, let me unhide the children. And this uh, cheat table is good for version 1.02 and 1.03. I got money codes right here uh, where you can pick up. And. Uh, uh, five hundred dollars just about everything you do gives you an extra five hundred dollars and uh, I have infinite health for the uh, cars during the chase scenes now when you have to destroy a car you need to turn that off because they'll also have infinite health I have not compared them out uh, basically because the address is changed in between each scene so it's kind of hard to do that and then because uh, the only time the uh, automobile or the motorcycle health pop up is during the chase scene so that's the only time it's really assigned a health address all right, and also slow down the game, which I just used a Lua call for that. And uh, basically, that's for the cup game. You can slow it down to nothing. When you mash L again, it will speed the game back up. Now, this cheat table will be available uh, soon uh, at guidedhacking.com. So that'll be the only place you can get it. It will be at guidedhacking.com. So make sure that you go there, sign up, and uh, go check out Cheat the Game over there and all the other wonderful content they have to offer. Let me go ahead and bring up Road 96. We're going to start a new game, and I'm going to show you how to get uh, full health, lots of money to start off with, and all abilities unlocked without having a new game plus. All right, never having played the game before, you can have all of your abilities unlocked, which opens up a whole lot more features for you for the game. So, we're going to do that by modifying a save file. Okay, bringing it up, what you want to do is start a brand new game and uh, just start it and what you want to do is you want to go through the complete first scenario and make sure it saves your game you also want to play a little bit of the second scenario also just to make sure that you need it to have that save file and it won't start a new game on you you need to get it to that state and uh, i'm going to go ahead and do all that but i'm not going to do it you know on camera and uh, we'll get to where we start modifying the save file but i wanted to let you know you need to start a brand new game play through the entire first scenario in a little bit of the second just to make sure you get the saves down okay what i did is i completely played through this first scenario right here and made it into the second i went back to the main screen as you can see these are the abilities right here they're all locked right here so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and close the game down and hopefully we'll continue from that point I mean put that down and what we want to do is we want to go to at data so you know where your at data is it's in your users and then the name of your PC then at data folder so you can go through uh, 
let me go through it the long way users so you hit your local C drive then users then the name of your computer and you want to make sure that uh, app data will be invisible so you want to make sure that it shows all folders all right and what you want to do is go to local low that's the middle one then we're going to go down here to digi arts digi arts or digi arts all right then row 96 is in here and here we have save files that's where we want to go and what we want to concentrate on is the content dot save right here and I re really recommend that if you do not have Notepad++ to download it, it will really help you. It organizes things a lot better. So I'm, we're going to edit it with uh, Notepad++. Now I'm going to take a look at some of the stats here. We got previous money, current money, and what I do is I already go ahead and put them up to the max. Current intensity. And these are float values. I put it 1.0. Previous energy, that's your health. I'm going to put that up to 1.0. And current energy, 1.0. That's because I had the cheat table on. And current karma, this is your luck. Put that up to 1.0. Now for abilities, what we want to do is go all the way down here to the bottom. All right, and let me take a look here. Uh, what we want to do here is Omen Ability Unlocked. I changed that one to True. You don't really have to, but I do. Turn that one to True. And let's see, Items New State. Uh, let's see. Let me take a look at one thing right quick and I'll be right back with you. Okay, sorry about that. What I want to do right now is I have this, and you'll see this in the description. I have this, but what you want to do is first of all just copy these down right here. And these are the ID names of your abilities every one of these so go back to your save file and what you want to do is come up here to items id you'll see that in your save file click on that press enter come down here and paste all that in there press enter again okay so we got the ids of the abilities in there but you got to do one more thing so what you want you to do is come up here and you're going to see abilities right here you're going to do the exact same thing Okay. And that's it. What we want to do is save. And let's bring our game back up. And if you take a look everything's unlocked and you will restart that first scenario with all abilities unlocked and you'll also see you'll start with full health and tons of money but you have to play through that first scenario so that it saves and you got to play just about a minute or two worth the second one but it will start you over from the very first one once you modify the save file so it's like beginning the new game all over well actually okay it's good it's starting from the second but I want you to take a look once we get past all this mess. And take a look at our health. We start with full health. Start out with tons of money. And we have every single ability unlocked, which opens up new options and new ways to progress through the game. And like I say, this is a game of choices where, you know, each choice you make impacts how the story plays out so that's real important sometimes you have to play through the game once or twice before you get all abilities unlocked which is really sucks but I've already played through the game once and was able to retrieve this information so you don't have to that's what I do <laughs> but that's how you modify the save file and you can continue on with your game uh, with everything unlocked it's like a new game plus without having a new game plus so I do hope that helps you 
Right quick, I want to thank my partners. These guys keep cheating the game running. If it wasn't for these guys, I'd have to fold up shop a long time ago. Uh, so I want to thank each and every one of you that contribute to help cheat the game continue to run. I could not do it without you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I want to thank all of you for coming out, supporting the videos, and all the new subs that we're getting. Even when I had this downtime, I mean, subs still keep pouring in, which is just fantastic. And that really is encouraging, and I really, really appreciate you guys. If this vid helped you out any, please uh, place a like on it. It helps me out. And uh, please come on back next time. I'm going to try to get these things up more frequently, and I'm sorry about the delay and we'll get back into some cheat engine and some tracing and I'm going to go into more advanced things with you and we're going to just learn together so I really really hope you'll come along on this journey with me all right guys I'm out of here you all take care keep on hacking most importantly please enjoy yourself that's really what it's all about you cheat the game fellas because believe me doesn't mind cheating you you all take care now